So we are going to make some energy balls today. We don't even have to bake and it's only four ingredients. It's kind of like energy or it's just like it's really good. And it's only four ingredients. So all we need is oats, cashew butter, and honey, and chocolate chips. And of course we need a bowl. And a spoon. And we do have this. We bake a lot, so that's why. Um, so yeah, let's get started. My mom is gonna help me. Hey guys, so we are making our protein energy balls. You guys probably have heard of them with the peanut butter, but we are using our favorite, which is cashew butter. And we also sometimes use almond butter, either one. And we use, of course, our honey, but you can use agave, or you can, I've even heard of people using syrup, if like whatever you have in your house. We are using oats. Oops, sorry, <laughs> I hit your hat. And then we are making it a little less healthy. We have milk chocolate chips because they're really good and we're using them more as a snack. And you can use dark chocolate chips or you can even um, add some cranberry, dried cranberries or some shredded coconut. We love um, milk. We love our milk chocolate chips. I don't love dark, but if you do, I'm very sorry. Well, they are healthier for you, but mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So instead of one cup, we're doing two cups because all of the people in my family love them so much. Same with me, I eat the most. <laughs> so we are definitely doubling this batch and usually use one cup of oats, but we are using two. So Evie's gonna pour that in. Before we do, we have to move these ingredients to the side. It is a little wet in the bowl, but it does not matter. That's right, actually, if these do turn out too dry, you're allowed to add water, or you can even wet your hands to roll the balls. What's okay, next? so what's next is let's get our cashew butter. So we're using one and a half, how my mom tells me and she's just pouring in all the ingredients for me. Yes, so we're using one and a half cups of our cashew butter, but you can definitely use peanut butter, almond butter, whichever kind of butter you like best. How do I pour it in? I never made this with the right one. <laughs> So just pour it in, dump it in, and then scrape the sides. Like yep. This? Yeah. This is my first time making it with her, and she always makes them, and I just don't. And it turns out really good. It does. So we have our oats and our cashew butter in there. It looks good. So Evie and I are about to dump in our milk chocolate chips. We've got them all ready. We're using the same um measuring cup for everything because it just makes it easy and i like the four ingredients and i like the least amount of dishes as possible to clean i gotta make sure they're good <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're gonna pour those in they're sticking to this oh my god look how many are sticking to the side so we're gonna get all of those in there Guys, I think if you're helping us, since you're helping us, I think they're gonna turn out extra good. Yes, even better than ever. Mm -hmm. So, it, for a regular batch, it needs two tablespoons, but we're doing four because we're doing an extra batch. Right, so we have honey. our honey in there and some extra chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. Let's get that honey. It was on the spoon, so. Okay. <laughs> Just I think this is gonna turn out so good i think so too and then after we do this and these are great we eat them sometimes for breakfast we eat them when we're just running out the door you have somewhere to be soccer practice or going to a disney park and you just need something before you get some treats there mm -hmm. even for your kids you could just grab you can take them on to like you can just pack them in a ziploc bag and go yeah so after we put in the honey we get to mix And then after we do that, we make them into okay, little Okay, so my mom's mixing them now. And after we make them into little balls, we put them in the fridge for 10 minutes. We're actually gonna let this get cold because it's really hard to roll them. Oh, really? Yeah, we're gonna put these in. I think you could roll them now, but it's kind of like too dry and warm. So we're gonna, I actually put them in the freezer, but you can put them in the fridge. It just takes longer. So 
So as you can see, we finished mixing and we're about to put this in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Some people put it in the fridge for longer, but I like it done fast as possible. So we'll see it. you in 10 minutes. Popsicle bread. We set our timer for 10 minutes and I'm having a great popsicle. So Evie and I waited our 10 minutes. I have my container from Ikea already and I like to use my spoon still to kind of grab it out. Now a lot of people make these really big like golf ball size but I like to make them smaller so I can eat a couple of them and not feel bad about it. And what you do is you just roll them and ours came out really well but if yours come out sticky because I've done this several times and it always comes out different every single time. What I would do is get my hands wet or you can even add a little water in so that it stays sticky but it's supposed to be like this. That's the size I like them and you just see everybody go into the fridge and they just disappear really quickly. Now you can also leave these in your refrigerator up until a week. Otherwise, you can put them in the freezer and you can take them with you and kind of let them like um, defreeze, defrost, what? <laughs> and you can put them in the freezer up to, up till three months. So I'm gonna make Genevieve gonna. I'm going to make Evie roll some of these. I'm behind now. the camera. Yes, she's saving me this time. So I'm gonna have her get to work. Watch her do some of these. So Evie is <laughs> snacking while she rolls. I made a baby one. And if your kids have a hard time getting, or you have a hard time getting protein into your kids, this is a really easy way, and it helps out a lot. That's Especially with picky eaters. Like me. Let's see you roll those. So, yeah. If you ever played in Play-Doh, you would be really good at this. <laughs> so it feels like a Play-Doh ball? Yeah. Just a little messier? Yeah. A little stick. Right. A little stickier. A little stickier. Yeah, the consistency came out really, really good this time. Last time I may have added a little bit too much honey. But you did. <laughs> because I didn't, I didn't measure last time. I just kind of dumped in whatever I had and rolled it up. <laughs> and if she need a littler batch, like up to here. Right, so. Like that kind of batch. These are looking good. So we're going to put these back in the freezer mm -hmm. for another. After we roll them. Another 10 minutes. And then we'll, re then we'll put them into the fridge. I'm going to eat a little one. So I'm You're going to eat a little one? How is it? It's really good. <laughs> I made it myself, so. Of course it's the best one oh, if you made it. Just oh, it's a little one. a little baby one. I think I Evie's balls like end up bite size. <laughs> it's like two bites for me, but my mom's like <laughs> <laughs> my dad. Probably thank, my dad. Thank you so much for that. He could fit two. Two in his mouth? At the same like time. a little squirrel, like one on each side. Yeah. That's really pretty. So I finished rolling them all, and I'm just eating the scraps off. So if like kids like to play in like slime, I made a, a video about slime. You should go check that out. Yes. And I made a video about slime. If your kids like slime, it's kind of like slime, but not. Right, sticky. you can have them help you make healthy things for themselves. Mm -hmm. So I perfect. I would wash my hands after because this is what happens. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to wash your hands after. So let's go put them so in the So we're going to go put them in the, you can, we'll store them in the refrigerator because, refrigerator. yes, but we're going to put them in the freezer so we can try out a couple. So we are all done. We finished making our four ingredient cashew butter chocolate chip balls and we are ready to enjoy. Bye.